Saints 34, Wigan Warriors 16. Oh, this was another real statement of intent by the champions, wasn't it? Backing up uh, from their game at Magic against Huddersfield. I said on game of the week, I had real concerns over the middle unit of Wigan Warriors going in to this game. And I was proved right yet again. They were bullied against Catalan. They were bullied now against Selling Tellings. Even Matt Pete at the end of the game said he's concerned over his middle unit. Let's try and put this into a bit of context because without question, yes, the edges were in fine form for St. Tellings, but the middle unit laid that platform. Let's get into some detail. In terms of the prop forwards, Wormsley, Lees and Pardew. Three prop forwards, 296 yards. Uh, Singleton, Mago, Ellis, Hill and Byrne combined, 221. 221, five prop forwards, take on three at 296. That's not good reading, is it, if you're a Wigan Warriors fan? Tackle bus, 37 to 20. 37 to 20. Clean breaks, 8 to 4. I mean, every single KPI in this game points to the fact that St. Helens were just quite simply stronger than Wigan down the middle. And of course, that then created room in, in the edges without doubt whatsoever. I mean, it, it was a feast of rugby league. Some incredible tries. We put a poll out. What was the best uh, try from a kick? Was it Wellsby? Was it French? Was it Field? And 64% of you said Field. And I have to agree, I thought that was a fantastic try. Really well. Uh, uh, executed indeed. The backs were against the wall and it was a, a moment of absolute genius but, but so too was the French and the Wellsby try. At the start of In the Sheds you saw Tommy Makinson's try and I think what's quite ominous for the whole of the Super League was that he was shouting at the crowd, we're coming and that I have to say uh, is very ominous uh, for the rest of the competition. I mean it's so tight isn't it? Absolutely it's so tight the difference between first and sixth, it's only four points you know, 22 uh, Catalan of course sitting top of the Super League and Wigan now still on 18 and it was mad wasn't it start of this game Wigan with third and by the end of the weekend they could have easily been seventh had Hulk KR gone to Catalan Dragons and actually got a win Wigan had been outside the top six in one game I mean what a season we're having here in Super League it's so competitive I mean you know all those who love the status quo are crying their eyes out but I'm not as a new you know as somebody yeah I'm a Warrior fan but as a neutral of the game and as a, as a man who really enjoys the game of rugby league, I want to see a tight competition. And at the moment, we're seeing some brilliant, brilliant rugby league right across the spectrum. And it's great, absolutely great to see. Wellsby, of course, getting the man of the match in this one. I can't really argue with that. You know, two tries, three assists. You know, the man was, was on, wasn't he? Absolutely on. And I think what we're seeing with Wigan is an over-reliance on Jay Field and certainly Bevan French at the moment. They just seem to be a little bit devoid of ideas. We mentioned about two or three weeks ago here on In the Sheds, the, the the vacuum that has been left by Lee Bree is going to the Brisbane Broncos. And I think we're starting to see that, aren't we? They're not, they just don't seem as efficient this season in attack. Uh, whereas, you know, St. Tellings, well, I mean, they were just at their, their brilliant best. I thought Parsi took his try. I thought Parsi was exceptional on the day. I really, really do. And again, just going back to Wigan, only one player got 100 metres. If you remember last week, not a single Wigan player's got over 100 metres. And in this one, Miski got 100 on the nose. I mean, that, again, is a real concern for Matt P. I do think at the moment the Pies have got no filling, quite frankly. I really don't. You know, I'd be, I'd be asking for a refund on my pucker, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this, is, um, this isn't this is great. It's not good. Uh, Wigan, of course, they'll probably make me eat my words next week in the Challenge Cup when they come up against my team. Uh, but in this one and in the last one uh, against Catalan, they quite simply have not looked anywhere near a Wigan side. From say, Tellings perspective, as Tommy Makinson said, beware. We're coming. I'm very impressed over the last couple of weeks. I mean, where's all the Wellings out now? You know, where are you guys? You know, all the way through those first early rounds, it's cunning them all over again. The fickle nature of fans in our sport. Yes, you know, I said at the time, give Wellings time. He needs time. You know, these players don't become bad players overnight and they're proving me right. St. Helens will be in and around it by the end of the season. There's no doubt about that at all. A lot of rugby league still to be played, but it was one to enjoy. 1-1 uh, one, one now in the series between Wigan and Saints. Will they meet again this season? Who will come out on top by the end of it? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, it's Saints Helens 34, Wigan 16. Saints now firmly in the top six with a game in hand still. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. That's been In The Sheds. We'll see you next time.